Hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Okay, let me prepare the attendance list. Okay, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So please turn on your cameras and respond when you hear your name. Carlos Alberto Martinez. Carlos Alberto Martinez, not here yet, okay. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. David Alonso Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Evelyn Janet Marroquin. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Okay, welcome. Isabu Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Jacqueline Rebecca. Not here. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Okay. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Okay. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Natalie, Present. Okay. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Odir Omar Soriano. Present teacher. Okay. Raul Antonio Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Rebecca Jonel Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Renato Salvador Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. René Giovanni Martinez. René Giovanni. Ruth Marielo Samaya. Ruth Marielos. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present. Okay. And Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Present. Okay. Good. You. Oh, I mean, my opinion. Quick review, Carlos Alberto. Present. Okay. 
Jacqueline Rebecca, René Giovanni, Ruth Marielos. Ok. Oh, ok, Rebecca. Well, last class we started talking about this on real conditional. And I want, I want to see the video one more time. Okay, we're um, to refresh the topic and how to use it on real conditional. Okay. And after that, we are going to practice. There is an, an exercise here to practice a little bit more situations where we can use the unreal condition okay so let's start watching the video one more time the video we have on the platform to refresh the topic okay Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay. Now we have these situations or predicaments. And we have a question here to start talking about. What do you think you would do or might do in this situation? What do you think you would do or you might do in this situation, we have different situations here. 
You have to think. Uh, but we can make it fun. Okay, not necessarily you have to respond the truth. First, the question. Okay, look at the way to ask the question. What would you do if? What would you do if you found available piece of jewelry in a park? Right? Then you respond, well, I'm not sure. I think I'd, or another classmate responds, well, uh, I might. Now, remember that we, we can respond with different forms, okay? Um, so, you can respond using I would or I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't return it. Okay. Or I might. Or I could, or I would. So there are different forms to start the answer. I wouldn't, or I might, or I could, or I would. All right. So, first, um, Okay, let's practice a little bit here together. Let me see. For example, uh, let me start with uh, Francisco. Let's let's practice with you first, okay? Francisco, what would you do? And let's use this one. What would you do if you found available piece of jewelry in a park? I mean, um, I asking the everybody early, uh, everybody soon the when the I found the jewelry but uh, i don't see nothing uh i think i go to my house <laughs> okay okay good now let's see one some more um marco What would you do if you saw two people fighting in the street? Mm, well, if I saw two people fighting in the street, I might call the police. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wouldn't you try to take a video? Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, take it, okay. One more. Let me see. Um. Uh, let me ask to Natalie. Are you there, Natalie? It's a bull. Renato. Odir. Hi, teacher. Okay. What would you do? If you discovered your friend has drinking a drinking problem, what would you do if you discovered your friend has a drinking problem? 
Hello. Here, here, coach, teacher. Uh huh. Mm. Discover your friend has a drinking problem. Um, I don't know. I, I would like, um. I I would like the 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 problem and your your drinking would like the problem would like the problem would like would try to or, help or or I could recommend he him, him uh, find some kind of help, call the family, go to the doctor, and uh, my support. Okay, good. Okay, good. Well, I will send you to working group with this activity, and I want you to practice asking uh, each other in the group and I would like you to use funny funny answers okay not try not to be too serious try to make some crazy answers using would or might or could okay just to have fun later so I'll send you to working group. Practice, please, asking questions one to another, okay? And try to make up funny answers to practice and to have fun. Let me see. Are we formed? Okay. Okay. Join the breakout rooms, please, and I will put the activity in WhatsApp so you can have it at hand.
Okay, los que no están en grupo trabajen ahí individualmente, ¿verdad? Agreguen sus respuestas para estas situaciones.
Hello, hello. Okay, people, let's practice together here. Okay, let's see. I have a better watch it here in. What's up? Okay, I will start with who, 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 who. Okay, Nubia. Hi, Nubia. Nubia. Nubia, can you hear me? Nubia is watching a movie, maybe. She's very focused on the screen, but is not listening to me. Let me write in the chat, please. She can't sleep with your eyes open. Nubia. I need to find out. It's just a picture, teacher. <laughs> no, I, I saw her blinking her eyes. Oh. Yeah, but now, yeah, now. But a moment you, ago, when, I, I saw her blinking her eyes. Oh, <laughs> uh, when you are like this. Oh yeah, she's what, gone. <laughs> what is what is what what is that emotion? Oh, that action. Well, she's freeze. How? Freeze. Freeze. Yeah. Freezing. Uh, freezing. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ooh, let's see. One of the ones with the camera. Now she's back. Now she's back. <laughs> okay. Um, all these people with the camera off. Hi, Nubia. You're back. Can you hear me? No, oh, she fell asleep. She fell asleep. Maybe she's having problems with the internet. She's fall asleep right now. Or she's thinking about I just no, ignore the she's teacher. <laughs> okay. No, I'm sorry. I I'm think, sorry. <laughs> I think she's having problems with the internet because I can see that she's with her thoughts. Yeah, her. yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe it's internet problem. Yeah, Probably it's raining. People have, have bad weather right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. 
Okay, let's start. Okay, Sylvia, let's start with you then. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, what would you do if you saw two people fighting in the street? And don't tell me I would call the police. No, I don't want that answer. What is the question? What would you do if you saw two people fighting in the street? Fighting in the street. Yeah. Uh, fighting uh, is like love. Fighting. Ah, oh, fighting. I don't care. <laughs> I just, I just, I just watch. Why there are how can I fighting without? <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. But remember to use I would I, I would, would I, I, I would, would uh -huh. probably just tap or your see with why just watch why they are fighting. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Sylvia, ask one question to another classmate. Okay, another question. Saul Alexander. Uh, my question is, yeah. Okay, a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. Okay, but you, you, you have to make the question. Okay. What, what would you do if... What would you do if a friend borrowed borrow money from you and I didn't return it? Hmm. Um, I would... Um, wait until he's thinking, get me back the money. And if, if he doesn't give me the money to me, um, I ask him to, to buy the, to buy the money. If he's tall or something like that, I, I can get him like, taking a, a, a conversation about it. If he doesn't, I just let them, let him go. Or... <laughs> okay, so you would I ask him, him. you would ask him. Yeah, I would ask him. Okay, would... okay. Okay, Saul, continue with another classmate. Okay. Glendy Flores Ramirez. Glendy. Glendy. Are you there, Glendy? She's not responding. Okay. Isabo. Isabo. Isab. No. Isab. No. Maybe Marco. Marco. Oh yeah, Marco yes. is there. Yes. What would you do if? You saw two people fighting in the street. <laughs> okay. Oh, I would call, uh, no, okay. no. Don't tell me I will call the police. Something else. Okay. I will call the Chapulín, Chapul, the Chapulín Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Continue, Marco, with someone else. Okay. For a moment. Okay. 
Eh, okay. David, what would you do if you discover your friend has a drinking problem? Maybe I will ask ask him what kind of beers that does does he taste. <laughs> Okay. Or you can, or David, David, remember what we're talking about. You can call the police and they will capture him and take him to the station. I would join him, says David. <laughs> okay, David, ask a question to another classmate. Okay, I choose. Um, Francisco Alexander, what would you do if you if you saw two people fighting in the streets? I mean, um, I I mean um, recording the fighting and. Um, Applaud uh, for the one. Uh, I make a one alive in Facebook. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Just, just a little thing, Francisco. The uh, the pronunciation is Mike. I Mike. Mike. Yeah, Mike. I might record it and upload it to alive. Okay. Okay. Thank yes. You. Very good. Very good. Okay. I think we are the only ones in class uh, because the others don't respond. Yeah. But let's try. Try Francisco with someone else. Uh, okay. Natalie, Rebecca, Peña. No, not here. Glendy Flores. Here. Okay, there she is. Uh, okay, Glendy. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, okay, uh, the question is, what do you think you will do? Um, someone stole you close while you were swimming at the beach. Well, uh, maybe... I will call my my friend or, or family to ask more close. Ah, okay, okay, good. Um, continue, Glendy, with another classmate. Mm, Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. No, she's not here right now. Oh, yeah, she's there, but I don't know if she's available. Claudia, can you hear us? No, she's not responding. Someone else, Glendy. Um, Saul. Okay, one more time. Okay, what is your question, Glendy, to Saul? Um, what would you do if... A friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. <laughs> that question is following you, Saul. Yes. Um... <laughs> the same. Yeah, so still we ask him the same question, I think. Yes, the same question. Or another question? Okay, yeah, another question, please. What do you do if... You discover your friend has a drinking problem. As I look at him, he's getting a problem. Um, I try to 
calm down the situation in him and if no i call their family or their parents or no okay to, to solve the problem okay okay but don't forget we need to use i'd or i would i i could i might yeah i would okay. i say good you say okay okay yeah, i say good very good okay another question let's see if someone else is in class we have rene isaura raul carlos rebecca luis Isaura. Isaura, are you there? Hi. Okay, she's <laughs> there. I that, but... It you is put... raining hard. Okay, let's. Okay. Let's try now. Go ahead, Saul. What would you do if you were? On vacation overseas and lose all your money and credit cards. I found a, a job. <laughs> Maybe I sold a charamusca choco banano. <laughs> okay. <Maybe. laughs> Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, people, excellent. Well, let's continue. We have this uh, vocabulary activity. Let me share here. Uh, it is about antonyms. Oh, we also have a video, I remember. Let me prepare the video about that. To share the sound um, here. Okay, we have a video about that. Antonyms. This one. Let's watch this video. And we're going to work later here. To know about antonyms and synonyms help you increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Okay. So we have these uh, words and they are, have the opposite. Okay, you have to write the opposites together. For example, the opposite of admit is deny. What is the opposite of let's let's work on let's go in order enjoy what is the opposite of enjoy people agree dislike 
Ah, okay, yeah. Dislike. Okay. So let me mark the ones we are. <clears throat> we do enjoy dislike. What about um, agree? What is the opposite of agree? Disagree. Disagree. Ah, that was easy. Disagree. Okay, agree and disagree. Agree, disagree, here it is. What's the opposite of borrow? Lend. Ah, okay, borrow, lend. Good. Borrow, lend. What's the opposite of remember? Forget. Okay. Forget. Remember and forget. What's the opposite of spend? Save. 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 Ah. Save. Okay, let me mark them. Spend and save. What's the opposite of divorce? Marry. Marry. Divorce. Marry. Okay. Good. Divorce. Marry. What's the opposite of accept? Refuse. Refuse. Yes. Okay. Refuse. Accept and refuse. And finally, the opposite of find. Lose. Lose. Very good, very good. Now they say choose four pairs of opposites and write a sentence using each pair. Look at the example. I can never save money because I spend it all on clothes. Okay? I can never save money because I spend it all on low. So choose a, a pair and write a sentence right now. Just one pair and one sentence, but using both in the same sentence. That is the idea, like the example here. Okay. Okay, and write your sentence in the chat. Choose a pair and write a sentence in the chat. Only one pair, only one sentence. Okay, Francisco says, I enjoy my lunch time, but dislike returning to work. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Another one, people? One sentence. Come on, no one else? Only Francisco? Okay. 
David says, I always forget to take out the garbage early. I remember to do it later. <laughs> okay. Marco says, I try to enjoy my day, but there is always something I dislike and ruin my day. Okay. Very good. one <laughs> that but okay francisco says i remember my birthday but forget the all birthdays of my family Okay, you need to have them in Facebook, Francisco. Facebook help you helps you to not forget the birthday. <laughs> I would like to get married but not divorce so quickly, says Claudia. Okay. If Saura says I always forget where I keep things. It is very difficult to remember where I left them. Oh yeah, very good. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, David says, I agree Marvel movies are great, but I disagree they're the best action ones. I always fall asleep with those movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Those movies or the Lord of the Rings put me to sleep quickly. Anyone else? Okay, people, it is 10 p.m. Time to, to stop tonight. Very nice. It was a nice practice. So I think it's going to start, the rain is going to start here. I can hear thunders. Okay, people, have a good night. And see you tomorrow, right? Take care Bye. and bye bye. Good night. Sylvia says, Good I agree to my mother gave me money, but I disagree to work for money. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, I got it. <laughs> Good night, people. Enjoy your Good night. Your night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>